So Bloomberg UK is um, is running this hilarious article. Biden drags his feet on student loan plan as allies urge bold action. So the, the tweet about this said, this is a direct quote, Biden is, quote, agonizing with his decision on student loan debt. Agonizing. Could you imagine agonizing about that? Uh, Harris, Klein, Ramamurti, among advocates for debt relief. Hey, props to Kamala, if that's the case, um, and the rest of them. Administration officials have kept legal analysis closely held. Now, that's that's absurd because we know, what is it, the 1965 Higher Education Act? It might be 64 or 63. It's one of those. Gives the executive branch at the behest of the president through the um, the education secretary the ability to wipe the entire debt slate clean. So this isn't a question. Do we have the legal authority? You absolutely have the legal authority. So any sort of like, well, we don't know, or we're looking into it is is bogus. It's so untrue. President Joe Biden is agonizing, there's the word again, (laughs) over ordering a sweeping cancellation of student loan debt despite pressure from Democrats, including Vice President Kamala Harris. Now, by the way, they say a sweeping cancellation of student loan debt. Based on reporting, what we know is what they're considering is not full elimination and debt forgiveness. What they're considering is only $10,000 of it for, and you means test it. So it's only for middle class and, and poor people. And might even be like lower middle class, not even middle class, middle class people. So even that, it's not accurate. It's not like sweeping forgiveness. It's like means tested neoliberal half measure. And he's still like, I don't know. I don't know what to do about this. There's an obviously correct answer, but I don't believe in obviously correct things. <laughs> Um, they're eager for a, uh, Kamala Harris is eager, eager for a political win before midterm elections, according to several people, people familiar with the matter. While he said last month that he's considering some debt reduction, Biden has not made up his mind about many details of the plan, including how much debt to forgive per borrower, the people said. And though White House officials have debated the contours of a forgiveness program internally for more than a year, there is no real consensus on the best path forward. Uh, Ron Klain and a deputy director of the National Economic Council, Bharat Ramamurti, are among the aides arguing Biden to announce some form of student loan forgiveness. The White House's hesitance on the issue represents the latest fracture within the Democratic Party, which Biden has failed to unite around his ambitious economic agenda. But this time, it's the Democratic rank and file who haven't yet persuaded the president to use his power for broad loan relief? Excuse me? The Democratic rank and file haven't persuaded him? Okay, 64% of the country in the most recent poll wants to eliminate student loan debt. You cannot put this on the rank and file. Their feelings on this are crystal clear. It's on Joe Biden for yet again putting his middle finger up to the will of the people. Advocates view the the move as having few political downsides. Oh, no shit. Many progressive lawmakers have called on the White House to cancel at least 50,000 in debt per borrower. By the way, they shouldn't be calling for that. They should be calling for total elimination of all student loan debt and rolling student loan debt elimination, which is effectively free college, which he could do through executive order. If not the entire loan portfolio held by the education department, which totals more than $1.6 trillion. Ramamurti, a former aide to Senator Elizabeth Warren, who was one of the foremost progressives in the White House, has been especially vocal about a forgiveness program, according to people familiar with internal deliberations. He views canceling student debt as not only politically popular, but also a tool to reduce U.S. racial and class inequities. Biden's reservations center on both the legality of the canceling the debt through executive action and whether broad forgiveness would be good policy. Oh, my God. Uh, he's got the IQ of a gnat, man. You have to keep it real. This is this and this is this is Joe Biden. This is the Joe Biden who voted for the Patriot Act. This is the Joe Biden who voted for NAFTA. This is the Joe Biden who voted for the Iraq War. This is the Joe Biden who wrote part of the crime bill. Like he's so pulled pulled in by the conventional wisdom, which is like just standard right wing politics. Well, my the Republicans are gonna attack me, so what if I if I do it? That I'm opening myself up. Yeah, but if you do eliminate it, you are correct, and you can fight back, and you would be right, but he doesn't have it in him. He doesn't have it in him. It's unbelievable. Um, where was I? He unequivocally supports Congress passing a law to forgive 10000 in debt per bar or one of them. Yeah, but that's, that's a dodge. That's a dodge. If it gets through the House, it's going to die in the Senate. He knows it's going to die in the Senate, so when he's like, oh, if the Congress passes it, I'll sign it, that is a total and utter dodge. The people asked not to be identified 
discussing internal deliberations, the consideration of what you can do with executive authority and action, it always takes a long time. No, it doesn't. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki told reporters Thursday at a breakfast hosted by the Christian Science Monitor, and there are significant policy questions here, good policy questions. No, there's not. It's obvious what, what you can do and what you should do. While some in the education community are skeptical of Biden's commitment to forgiving student loans, regarding him as having been pushed to support the idea by Warren and other liberal opponents in the 2020 Democratic primary, the government has been laying groundwork for the move since he took office. Policy experts throughout the administration have for months studied options for forgiveness program, such as income requirements, whether to include graduate school loans or only undergraduate debt, and how it would apply to people who took out debt for school but never received a degree. More than a year ago, Biden ordered the Justice and Education Departments to determine the extent of his power to forgive student debt. The Education Department recently released a year-old pre-decisional and deliberative legal memo on the issue, but fully redacted his text. That's glorious. They're like, do a report on whether or not I could eliminate the student loan debt. And then the report said, you absolutely can. And he's just like, redact the whole thing and don't let people see it. Because then they'll know I can do this and I'm just choosing not to do it. Those six blank pages are only fueling speculation about the administration's plans as midterms, midterm elections approach in November. An education department spokesperson said the administration wants long-term change to make college more affordable and officials are still considering options for further executive action. Within the White House, plans have been under development by officials on the National Economic Council, Council of Economic Advisors, and Domestic Policy Council. Susan Rice, the DPC director, isn't among officials pushing Biden for any sweeping move. Two of the people said one person familiar with her thinking said that she does that she does support some measure of debt relief. Biden has sought to aggressively expand higher education options for lower and middle income people, blah, blah, blah. Build back better. Um, gridlocked Congress. Blah, 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 Jubilee for elites. Republicans have assailed loan forgiveness as a potential fresh driver of inflation. Oh, please. And unfair to people who've paid off their student debts. Guys. How can we get rid of indentured servitude when a lot of people had to go through their indentured servitude? How can we cure cancer when a lot of people have died of cancer? Curing cancer is unfair to the people who've died of cancer. They didn't get the, they didn't get the cure. You think it's fair that somebody now gets the cure when they didn't get the cure? My dad died of cancer. Should we really cure cancer? Because I wish he was able to get the cure and he wasn't able to get the cure. You see how stupid this is? Their arguments are so hollow and so vapid and so dumb, and nobody points it out. Nobody points it out and says that's the dumbest thing anybody's ever said ever. Oh, my God. All right. Look, I don't, I don't want to keep going in this. You guys get the gist of it. Um, Joe Biden can eliminate student loan debt. He should elim eliminate student loan debt. If he does do anything, I'll give you my prediction again. If he ends up doing anything, and that's a big if, it will be $10,000 of elimination, and it'll be means-tested. Hear me now, quote me later. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.